guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to look at how to make DaVinci Resolve 15 or 16 if you've upgraded just that little bit faster. I get this comment quite a lot about how it's a bit slow or it, you know I need to speed it up. So we're going to go in a little couple of tips here and there, not too many, but just enough to hopefully speed up your workflow. Um, if you know them, two thumbs up for you. If you don't, well, fantastic. Let's just jump into DaVinci Resolve right now and jump into them. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop a little bit of footage onto the timeline, pretend like we're editing. What we'd normally do is we'd cut this together and you know, let's just create a couple of cuts here. And if we started adding effects and all that sort of stuff, what we'd find is it would start to slow down. And so a really easy way and a fast way is just to go to playback go to proxy mode and half resolution, or if it's really slow, go to quarter resolution. What that's gonna do is, as you're scrubbing through the timeline, this here is going to play back in a half resolution. So if it's filmed at 4K, obviously it's gonna be playing back at like 720p or something like that. And then obviously, like I said, if it's you know playing back and half's not enough, you can go to quarter, and then you can really see that difference there. If I play that back, hopefully that's coming through quite well and you can pause it and then, you know, you can always go back to having it off and you can see there it crisps up quite well. But that's a really quick way to speed up your workflow because you're not gonna notice it too much if it's especially when it's in such a small window like that. And I generally have it on half resolution the entire time because, well, it just makes things easier. Now, the next thing to do is to make sure that the cache, where it stores all of optimized media and all that sort of stuff, is set to, well, smart, all right? So by default, I think it's set to none. So what you do is you go to playback, render cache, and just go to smart. And what that's gonna do is just over time, it's going to slowly render out, and you can see here this red bar, and it's got blue there, and it's gonna slowly render this clip out into the background to the designated folder. Now that folder you're gonna to wanna to have on a really fast drive, so an SSD if you have one. Luckily I'm on a MacBook, so the solid state storage in this thing is blazing fast, and that's where it saves it by default. What you can do is go to DaVinci Resolve, and you wanna to go to preferences, Go to media storage and this is where your cache is going to be stored and then you can just add a folder there and you can search for it wherever you need to put it on a you know a fast drive and then set that as the cache folder and then as you can see here it'll render out now you can do the same thing for fusion clips if you so choose so we could like create a let's just drag a quick fusion clip in there and it's gonna do the exact same thing. You can also make sure that render cache fusion output is set to auto or just on in general. So to do that, I'm just right clicking render cache fusion output to on. I think by default it is set to off for something a little bit more taxing. It's probably gonna drop frames. So you right click and just switch it on. That's gonna render in the background along with everything else and just make your editing experience that much smoother. Now, the next one is sort of like a Hail Mary pass. This is what you do if just nothing's working. So we've got our clip here and say we wanna do some color grading on it. Let's just do something really just boom, like really drastic. Just super crazy, let's put some real, like something really crazy, just so we can see it. And what that's gonna do is, even though it's gonna render in the background, you can see it's dropping frames like crazy. Let's just say it's not going fast enough. So this little button here at the top, this is going to turn off all color effects and all fusion effects in this playback window. So you can go through and keep making your cuts, you know, blade, blade, delete you know, and make all your cuts and it's still gonna render in the background as we have it set up. And then at the end, you can chuck that on and all your effects are going to be still assigned to the original clips that you had them assigned to, which is a really good way to edit. What I generally like to do is drop my main clip on the timeline, color grade the entire thing, add my audio effects, that way I never have to worry about it. And then when I'm cutting the clip together, I have this turned off. So I don't have to worry about all those effects interfering with my editing speed. It just makes things a hell of a lot smoother. So those three tips to speed up your editing workflow in DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you like creating YouTube videos, I have another small one here, and that is to have a master project for YouTube videos and create smart bins for your different videos, which is what I like to do. So you can see here, I have a performance video. That's the one we're working on now. Then we have the Z6 autofocus video, and in there we're gonna have the media involved with that particular project. And what that just means is every time I open up DaVinci Resolve, I only have to open up the one project, 
So if I was to exit out of DaVinci Resolve now, and as you can see here, you know, we could create a new project and I would if I was doing a larger, you know, a larger project. But for YouTube videos, I just have this one here and I double click obviously to open it. As you can see here, I've got the intro video. I also have my end screen and then I just create bins for the separate videos and have the media in there that I need. And that just allows me to really create videos a lot faster. I don't have to worry about importing particular media clips. And then, you know, after maybe a couple of weeks, what I start to do is I just start to delete all that media there out of that bin. I leave it there for a few weeks just in case I need to go back and edit something and then it just makes editing YouTube videos a lot faster. So there you have it guys, just a few tips on how to speed up DaVinci Resolve, make your editing workflow a little bit easier. Hopefully you figured something out, learned something new. If you didn't, oh well, you know, good for you, you already know what you're doing. If you like the video guys, hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing for more videos like this and until the next one, see ya.